Something is not right here. Be oh, on your. We're gonna fight the dragon right now. I'm ready. Behind me. Fjord. But now I am released. Alas, my lengthy imprisonment has slowly depleted my powers. If the skies above Sniffleheim are to once more dance with fire, then first I must feast. You shall have the honor of being the auroral serpent's sabbath. What I saved? I guess I did. Auroral serpent. Gonna take a little bit. Uh, revamp. Uh, let's go ahead and kabuff. And I'm gonna change up my call it here. Ward off some breath attacks. Hey! For some reason Hendra got hit with it. Hey! I thought we were warding off breath attacks. I guess when it says ward off breath attacks, it really means it'll just hit you a little bit less hard. Goodbye. What's up, Dante? What's good in the hood? Oh, it's hot. Give me another crit. Kill this guy who's boss. Just got back from your final interview for the AI job. Aw, oh, yeah. Feeling confident? Sap. Extremely. Excellent. Not to put a damper on anything, but I totally applied for two jobs a while back. Oh my gosh. I applied for uh, two jobs a while back and I was feeling pretty confident about them. They even told me like what my pay was, what my pay would be if I were to get hired, and they were telling me like when I would be hired. So I was like, oh, well, I, I got this in the bag. And uh, then they just never called me back. I was like, come on, how you do me like that? How you basically tell me in the interview if I got the job, and then I don't get the job? It's like uh, it's like Craig from Friday. It's like it's like getting fired on your day off. Jeez, that does so much damage. This guy needs to die very quickly. And he is not dying quickly enough. Rip, that's cold. Yep. I felt pain. 
Uh oh. I might be able to get you back. Or not. Might. Okay, well. Can the real Slim Shady please stand up? I'm just gonna have to go all out. I can't, can't wait for Rab to get picked up. Alright, take the chance with the zing. Okay. Okay. Take another chance here. Didn't die. Take another chance with the zing. Okay, good sign. Alright, hard claw. Yes! Everybody gets experience. Give me that. My strength grows ever greater. Very much hope that doesn't happen here to you. <laughs> they told told you to be sure to check your email for the next two days. I hope it doesn't happen to you either. I'm just saying that it happened to me and uh, made me a very sad person. Uh, but. Such is the way of life, I guess. My life, anyway. Um, I wonder if I should respec him into shields, because some of the shield stuff seems pretty cool. Let's save up for Unbridled Blade. So Blindsman Bluff, I'm curious about, but that one's cheaper, so we'll save. Silvando. I believe I was saving for nastier knives. Eric. We're working our way up here. Woot a woot. You are strong, just like the detestable luminary, the one who sealed me away all those years ago. But where Edwin succeeded, you shall succumb! <laughs> What the... You can't... move! Peteous wretches! Prepare to be consumed! Sometimes... You know, journeys just end like that. No, my strength, it's straining away. What is that awful 
It's Serena playing her harp, I believe. Yep. Ah, ha, ha. Beast, be gone, thou black offense. May heaven's winds propel thee hence. All right, let's get that rhyming out of here. All the mermaids are dead. We're happy about it. What a kill stealer. Don't worry, everyone. I'll have you back on your feet in no time. chosen long have I waited to greet you we of Arborea swear to protect you while we live none shall defeat you it's ever so nice to see you all again Serena it's really you thanks for helping us out there where did you spring from and where have you been I've been trying to make my way back to Arborea ever since that awful day. But I got rather sidetracked seeing to those who needed my help. When I heard that the golden iceberg blocking Sniffelheim Harbor had melted away, I decided to try and make my way home from there. I never thought I'd meet you on the way. You're heading to Arborea, eh? We're on our way there ourselves. Reckoned you keepers would be the best folk to ask about a certain sacred flying contraption. A flying contraption? Well, I've never heard of such a thing, but I'm sure Father Benedictus will know something about it. And then she kills everyone? Yeah. It's so wonderful to see you all again. Would you mind awfully if I tagged along with She's you? She's just playing innocent. She's evil. She always has been. Look, Serena, you're cool and all, but I was hoping for Victoria to join the party because I need I need some spell damage. If we follow the path up the mountain, we'll be in Arborea in no time. Well then, shall she we? Says like, she says that like we've never been to Arborea before and we don't know where we're going. You think we were just, we just got lost? We're, hey. Take that. Wrong way. Man, I am really glad that I saved. Also, I'm really glad that both of my zings worked. Because if they didn't... Everybody's at full health. Uh, character builder, Serena. All right, so there must be something that we're gonna get later on that uh, allows her to unlock stuff. Give you some MP. And if her skills, air. you can get here single party member man come on avoid instant death attacks um, I do want to equip her with some stuff though Five is the best we've got access to. Hermes hat. Sure. Um, we'll auto equip. 
give you fishnet stocking. Garter. I'll have to do for now. I think I already fought one of those guys. Good to completely avoid them. Vicious runny egg skeleton. And so you have an AoE attack now. Pretty terrible. Bells crackle. Cutting edge. Wait, night watch. Attracts all enemies or attracts all enemy attacks to the user for Oh, that must be a shield ability. While also making them invincible. Whoa! 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 Is that real? And stay down. Can I spend this on anything? Where was I going? I was going down this way. I need twenty. So, possibly one more level. Uh, I guess I need to fight you. This guy's gonna hurt, though. Let's treat him like a big boy. A crits. I'm with a Zamel. Still living. A chapter. Well, that was very happy that played out the way it did. See that other way is a treasure chest. I don't need to go that way. I'm gonna repeat the last thing that I said last time I was here. Oh, the sparkly, not a treasure chest. Same difference. If I fall off, it's gonna be pretty salty. Oh. oh! You'll love this. The wizard from that 4E campaign sided with you while you were away. You were out today. He's playing a secretly evil wizard. Oh my goodness. goodness what what are you doing Dante you're inspiring evilness on people oh the salt train continues yeah oh my gosh how is he gonna get away with it though there, there's no way he can get away with it because he has to run it by the DM first victory is ours Like, he says, oh, I want to play an evil character, and Liam's like, okay, you know, what do you want to do with your evil character? And, and then it just crumbles from there. Because then he's like, oh, you just want to Dante me again. <laughs> Oh. He 
you put on the sheet that the wizard is true neutral, but he told you he has every, every intention of being evil. Oh, no. For the record, you don't approve of this? I don't either. This is awful. It was so beautiful here before. That... That's not good. Our poor little angels. Veronica, Serena, please come back. We'll do anything. Fidelis, Alma, you must not lose hope. Veronica and Serena are the heirs to the power of that most holy of sages. As long as they are together, there is nothing that can... Oh. <laughs> Serena? Is it really you? Mother? Father? You're alive! Recognize the back of the heads of your mother and father? Oh, Serena, my little angel. I never thought I'd see you again. However, you can watch for the salt. Yeah, I mean, it's not your problem. So, <laughs> there you go. Serena, my child, have you come back to us alone? What of Veronica? She, she's not here. But I thought she must have made her way home already. <sighs> she's certainly somewhere nearby. I can sense it. Somewhere north of here. You can really tell where she is? Hmm. Yes, it's her. I know it is. We have to go and find her. Um, I was actually also thinking, Dante, that, you know, if, if that paladin was actually, you know, a decent person to you, there might be some, I don't want to say obligation, but, you know, some, some reason or incentive for you to actually go to him and be like, hey, you know, might want to talk to this wizard because this is how he's going to play his character. But you don't know him squat. Hey, dragon's bane. Gladius. Bar cross. Oh, oh, oh. stick Ooh. Ooh. Oh, then plants. Aerial shield. These are some pretty good items. Here, here. What's everyone else's attack at? I feel like if I gave two of these to Eric and I started using him, he still wouldn't be any good. Like, For the boomerangs, I'd be doing, just say like 70 damage. I do 140 damage at best. I don't like that I'd have to spend 23,000 an investment just to see if that'll work out. So where's the two-handed swords? Oh, this Gladius is a knife. The heck? Since when is a gladius a knife? Isn't that just a short sword? Whatever. We're gonna buy this. We're gonna buy it in a second here. I wanna... Alright, you can't compare it. Whatever. To Mr. Rab. Hey. 
or break his wonderful costume. Uh, I need to sleep. Deny he's a tool, complete tool. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't really treat you very well. Come on, man. I'm the luminary. I deserve a special price, like free. Gladius is totally not a knife. It's not a very long sword, but it's way too big to be a knife. It's also a main line infantry weapon. Come on now, yeah, definitely not a knife. Uh, it, it definitely feels like a short sword to me, or looks like a short sword. Maybe a little bit longer than a short sword. Um, so we'll try going to the grove first. Oh yeah, grove of repose. That's actually where we have to go. Cool. Um, so let's -a go. Also thick. <laughs> the three C thick. person you think Veronica's really here if she is she's keeping a low profile when we were children Veronica and I would often come to this grove to play I was sure she would be waiting for me here Veronica Veronica, where are you? All right, let's give my prediction. Um, Veronica, we'll just say that she's going to be on the evil side of things and we'll have to fight her. And when we do defeat her, she won't be a child anymore and she'll be her, um, her grown-up form. Or she'll kind of go the same way that Jade does where you can activate like a, like a, a power for her that allows her to change into her grown-up form for a limited amount of time. After we get her back, of course. Ah, there she is! I knew it! <laughs> Wake up, lazy bones! You'll catch cold sleeping outside like this. There's no place like home. Veronica? Hmm? <gasps> Look, her staff is shining, and so is the mark on your hand. Do you think if you touch it, you might have one of your visions? This is the part where she's like, now it's time for me to show you what happened to Veronica, and Serena murders you in the wilderness. <laughs> Axelrod is transported back to that dark day. I don't know if I want to relive that. That was a scary day. Uh, oh no! This can't be happening! If Yggdrasil falls, the world will... Expecto Patronum I have to do something. You're the only ones who can save this world. Don't let me down. To the luminary. Gosh darn Dementor's always messing stuff up. 
Mordigan is... He's kind of a Dementor, I guess. A little bit more evil, a little bit less... Uh... What are they called in Lord of the Rings? Like, something Wraiths? World Wraiths? Night Wraiths? Veronica, you gave your life to save us. Oh, snaps. No. Wait, so wasn't there a time skip? I thought there was like a three or four month time skip. So if, let's just run with the assumption, and they might explain this after I do this, but let's just run with the assumption that Veronica died on the day that Yggdrasil fell. Three months later, her body would be pretty decayed, you know. Just... Just saying. Three months is a long time. <sighs> Fucks the fun right out of your day. <laughs> Magic, you don't have to explain anything? Yeah. Yes. Oh, darling. Even in your final moments, you were thinking of your friends. Really hope I get Veronica back because she was the final member of my OG squad. No! Oh, Veronica. <sighs> Why must the good die young? Her death be in vain. Where she led, I must follow. I have to tell everyone. I have to tell mother and father. That's not a conversation I want to have. So, uh, well, I touched my sister and she turned into a bunch of light orbs. I think she's dead. But I promise you, it's not my fault. The Luminary's fault. For not being prepared for Mordrigan to do all his Dark World, Dark Lord stuff. Serena tells the people of Arborea the sad news of Veronica's sacrifice. Same day, the Keepers hold a memorial service. Oh, great and glorious Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the symbol of all life. Today, we mourn the loss of a beloved child of our Borea. I'm also going to get out of the way. I don't think uh, Veronica's dead. I think she's going to come back somehow. Um, and I'm hoping that it'll be in her not child form. Though she came into life with another of your hallowed leaves, she departed this realm alone. May she one day return to you and bloom again upon your branches. Wait, was it this game where they were saying that they were born together so they would die together? Maybe she really is dead. I'm gonna stick with my... my, uh... my theory, but... It's possible she might actually be dead. gathering here today to celebrate the life of my dear sister even in her darkest hour veronica thought not of herself but only of protecting the luminary she was a keeper to the last now i ask that each of you offer up a lock of hair to the sacred flame 
that its light may guide her on her way back to the world tree. Man, do they have to offer up a lock of hair for every person that dies in this village? Man, they, they must all be bald after the whole world tree nonsense. <laughs> oh, Veronica, my little angel. <laughs> Curse you, Mordigan. Why could you not have taken me instead? My darling, darling daughter. How could you leave us without saying goodbye? Serena appears steadfast despite her grief. But the sight of her poor parents is heartbreaking indeed. And like, this guy over here, that dude doesn't have that much hair left. And so like, you taking a lock of hair from that man is a real big deal because it might not grow back. My child, I must speak with you and your friends. When you have a moment, please come to the cathedral. Suggestion trade trash for grill. <laughs> I'm not I'm not using uh Eric at the moment. Um Forgive me for summoning you here at this time of sadness, but there is something I believe you will be eager to hear. You came in search of the sacred conveyance upon which Erdwin and his allies rode out to face the Dark One, did you not? How did you know that? For some days before your arrival, Holy Yggdrasil granted me another vision. I saw you, honored luminary. You were standing alongside Serena upon a great white object that transported you to an island in the sky. A strange and beautiful place. And you think this was a vision of the future? I do. For in my dream, Veronica was not with you. I have been greatly troubled as to what her absence might mean. I had hoped and prayed that my fears were unfounded, yet... Alas, they were not. Which made me wonder if the conveyance upon which you stood might also be real. And then, I remembered. Cetacea. The legends tell of a divine being who soared through the skies on silver wings. A beast summoned to Erdwin's side by a mystical melody. Perhaps it was upon Cetacea's back that you rode in my vision. And perhaps the island upon which you alighted is the next step on your journey. I intend to scour the annals for indications of how she might be summoned. I will inform you forthwith if my researches should prove fruitful. Now, the day's unhappy events have surely taken their toll. Rooms have been prepared for you all at the inn. Pray, rest a while. Thanks for nothing. Can I have my 140 gold back, sucker? I already rested at the inn. My goodness. Alrighty. Let's save again. Come on, you are not that sad. I hated that little girl. In the dead of night, Axelrod hears the mournful tones of a harp. Drifting on the air.
This is when uh, somebody opens the window and says, you know, uh, quiet down, we're trying to sleep. Oh, how did I not open that my first time in this place? Yo. Y'all people need to go to sleep. Actually, I'm going to test something. Uh, I'm going to put my money in the bank. Promise, promise, O oh my love, thou wilt wait in bows above, that our leaves might bloom together. Though time hath torn thee from my arms, and time hath wrought us countless harms, time shall make us one forever. It's a love song from the Age of Heroes, the story of a lady pining for her long-lost sweetheart. No one remembers who wrote it, but I've loved it since I was a little girl. You know, something's been bothering me. Veronica? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll fall at the same time too? Aha, I remember the correct game. I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. But I hope they do. <sighs> Serena, I want you to promise me something. If anything happens to me, promise you'll finish this without me. <gasps> I shan't promise anything of the sort. I don't even want to think of such things. If only I had promised to do as she asked. Perhaps she might have been able to make her sacrifice more easily. She was right, you know. I always have been slow. When it came to talking or walking or learning magic. I was always a step behind and This is why I kicked you out of my party for Rab. It was just better. But now I must tread my own path. Alone. <laughs> I hate to ask, but would you mind awfully not going anywhere for a little while? I think I'm going to cry. Thank you. I'm sorry to be such a bother, but I shan't be one any longer. Veronica died to save me. I must make the most of my life for her sake. Hmm. I... I do not approve. No more tears. That was the old me. Goodbye. Look, unless you're gonna get all of her spells... There's no way I can use you. Grab is just better.
What in the world? I feel different. Rania can now use all of Veronica's spells and abilities. Okay. I might have to use Serena now. Let's check out Serena. Oh, you got multi heal? Where did you get that? Yeah, look at that. She just got Oomfu. She doesn't have, um... The other special stuff. He's got Kaswoosh. He has Bang. Didn't, didn't we have Boom? Oh, there it is, Boom. Hmm, I might have to use Serena now. I might just have to. What is your character builder looking like? Arpistry. The whips dim. Nope, that's not what heavy ones. Wow, so wow, she just gets all of Veronica's stuff. I've Gotta admit, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Let's see. Well, I want to stay away from heavy wand stuff. Well, let's go up this way. Something that brings the user back to life if they bite the dust. Am I seeing that right? That costs 65 points? Sixty-five? Are you kidding me? Ridiculous. Oh, you need to get away from that chick. She's getting ready to go postal on someone. I think she's already gone postal on someone. Surprise? Bonus? What? What luck? This panel hides a su special surprise. What? I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, the double unlock. A chance? That's 40 points. Rings of Ruin. Okay. Uh, she's getting some ink done next. Already done the old me. Already done the old me is dead me. This is the new me. Cut her hair. She's she's a soundtrack. Sort of smashing up your truck or something. Come on, Dante. She's a little bit more sane than that. Uh, let's go this way. Don't worry. It was used to occasionally cast the same spell twice at no extra cost. Oh! That also costs 65. Let's see. One, two... I would have to waste something. Now I like... It seems like every one that's in this slot is super godlike awesomeness. That's seven. This is three. That's a cheaper investment for me. You see the effectiveness of hymns. I don't like hymns. Yora. 
worry, nope. Don't worry, Dante. You just gotta believe. Dump's a fluid flow that can greatly increase the number of parries performed and enables user to counter. Well, that doesn't sound very interesting. Let's see, these are both 10. Greatly increase the damage done by any offensive spells the user casts. See, that's good. All right, I think I'm gonna go with Enchanting Echo. This is just a passive effect that's pretty godlike. Um, I will need to consider respecting her, though. Some of the stuff that we have access to is some hot garbage. I mean, a lot of her tree is just horrible. She, she doesn't get, like, hardly anything good. Let's, let's go ahead and give her that. Uh, too good for me not to take. Uh, Hendrik, you're at 16. I don't think that's enough. You... I need 20. Silvando... I'll be able to do something with you, Silvando. Was I going? Uh, maybe agility? Oh no, I was uh, nastier knives. Okay. Well, line up. The Serena doesn't have any hit points though. What's her magical might? 207? Not very good. That's because that gives four. Well, then I would want staves. Well, maybe not. It gives four. The other one you got? Oh, three. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if Serena's gonna work out now. 207 Magical Might is horrible. Especially when Rab... Not, Rab doesn't even have two accessories on? What the heck? When did that happen? The heck? HP every turn. Grr. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be using Serena. We're going to keep uh, Hendrick, I guess. Kind of disappointing. Um, I'm going to give Eric a shot, though. Better let me buy something. It's unbelievable. Go to the end. Arena! Why is your magical might so bad? Maybe I need to equip her with better gear? Maybe that's the problem? Probably the problem. Get 
my way. Good morning, or should I say good afternoon? The sun's already high in the sky. Father Benedictus dropped by earlier. He says he has something to show us at the top of the mountain. Everyone else has gone on ahead. But I thought I'd wait for you. Shall we go and join them? There's a little door to the right of the cathedral. The path is through there. I have some stuff to buy first. <sighs> Life is hard. To get the true RPG experience, you need to load up Quest 64. Don't do me like that, Dante. Alright, Eric. So that'll, oh, that'll bring her up to 261? Okay, so yeah, she's just behind on, on, uh, on gear. Maybe I can use her, I just have to sink a ton of money into her. Oh yeah, that's 51. Okay, so that's 24, that's 28. Okay, that gives mending, but no. Oh, what is she currently wearing? Nice hat. Equipment. I'll change that to the sorcerer's ring. And what is she at now? 273. That's still not very good. Not really sure what more I can do to help her. Actually, I, I do know. I do know. Rectification. I get rid of all the wands. Just reset secret panel that I needed. That wasn't good. Don't need this one. Okay. Really care about that. Look at that, like, I could totally cheat out where I want panels and stuff. Actually didn't help me at all, because this path doesn't give me any magical might. This is, this is why she's bad. This is why she's bad. I guess this path doesn't give me any magical might either, but... Come on. Just hot garbage. Okay. 
Alrighty, well, I'm gonna give her a shot. Line up. Rena. Gonna regret this. Just, uh, just believe in me, I guess. He's... You know what? I'm already... I'm, I'm already thinking that this is a mistake. Because, like, with my current setup, Hendrik does 300 damage with one sap debuff. There's no way that she is going to be able to do 300 damage. She'll do like 100 damage at most. The only thing she's going to be good for is doing um, damage to all enemies. 